What's up guys? Today we are going to take a quick tour of Azure Key Vault secrets and how to access them from different Azure services. But what is an Azure Key Vault in the first place? It is a cloud-based security service offered by Microsoft as part of its Azure platform. It provides a secure and centralized storage solution for keys and secrets like passwords and certificates. It allows organizations to securely store and manage sensitive information such as application secrets and cryptographic keys in a way that is easily accessible to authorized users and applications. This allows organizations to enhance their IT security and reduce the risk of data breaches. Applications do not have direct access to the keys. Instead, users grant permissions for their own and third-party applications to use the keys as needed. Let's see what Microsoft says about the benefits of using Key Vault. These are the benefits of using Azure Key Vault according to Microsoft. First, we have safe, centralized storage of keys. Azure Key Vault provides a secure and centralized location to store sensitive information. This secure storage reduces the risk of data breaches and maintains the security of the system and data. Then we have key management. Azure Key Vault provides a centralized way to manage cryptographic keys and secrets. We can set access policies, track usage, and rotate keys. Then we have added protection for other Azure services. Our Azure Key Vault can be integrated with other Azure services, allowing organizations to reduce the risk of data breaches and improve their security. And last but not least, we have compliance with regulations. Azure Key Vault help, helps organizations meet their compliance requirements by providing a secure way to store and manage cryptographic keys and secrets. So these are all the benefits of using Azure Key Vault in a nutshell. Essentially, instead of saving the cloud passwords in a text file in our laptop where someone can hack it, we can use Azure Key Vault for advanced protection and that provides also a seamless integration with other Azure services, which is very, very convenient. Let's start by creating an Azure Key Vault. So click on create a resource, search for Key Vault, right? Select Key Vault, click on create, select your resource group, your Key Vault name, Key Vault, and your region, West Europe for me, and the standard pricing tier next so here you have a choice in terms of the permission model you can use azure role based access control or vault access policy now let's go with access policy in this case in this demo as you can see by default it, uh, our identity has been granted all the permissions that we need for key secrets and certificates so then click on next allow all networks tags that's fine review and create and let's create our key vault it will take a couple of minutes but don't worry it's not, it's quite fast i would say our key vault has been created Perfect, so click on go to resource. And here is the overview tab, the first tab that you will get when you open your key vault. We have the access control list to assign roles. We have the access policies. And here we grant permissions to uh, you know, manage the identities and other users. As you can see, remember by default, our identity has been granted all the permissions here for the keys, the secrets, and the certificates. Under objects, you will see three blades, keys, secrets, and certificates. These uh, three blades are the most important part. Usually, in most cases, we use secrets, and this demo will use secrets as well. We have the access configuration, and here, if you don't want to use access key vault access policies uh, and use RBAC, just select this one, click on apply and that's fine. You can uh, change the way we provide access. Then we have networking. We allow access from all the networks here and the properties. That's another important part. 
we will use the vault URI and the resource ID when we try to access Key Vault secrets from Databricks. Now, let's say that we have a data lake, so a storage account, we have a storage account and a test container here with a CSV file. In order to access this container, we need the access key of the storage account. So here we have the access key of this storage account. Click on show, copy this to the clipboard, uh, copy this and then go back to Key Vault and let's create a secret. So click on the secrets blade, click on generate import, provide a name that would be my account key for the secret paste the value, the secret value, you have the activation date if you want and the expiration date, enabled yes or no, click on create and now we have already created a secret that contains the account key of our storage account, right? How can we access this key now, this secret value, how can we access this secret value from Databricks, for example, let's uh, let's go to Databricks, and I will show you. So this is Databricks, and now from Databricks we want to access our data lake and read the data that we have in that container. How can we do that? How can we get the secret, the account key of the storage account that uh, that is stored in Key Vault? How can we do that? First, we need to create a secret scope but what is a secret scope let's see the documentation secret scopes managing secrets begins with creating a secret scope a secret scope is collection of secrets identified by a name so there are two types of secret scopes in databricks the azure key vault backed and the databricks backed that means to reference secrets stored in azure key vault we can create a secret scope backed by Azure Key Vault and it's actually just a read-only interface to uh, Azure Key Vault. Then we have the Databricks backed scope which uh, the secret scope is stored in an activity database owned and managed by Azure Databricks. But here since we are talking about Azure Key Vault we will go with the first option. Now how, how can you create a secret scope? Go back to your Databricks, right? And uh, let's create let's create a notebook. Let's create a notebook. Click on add the notebook here. You can see the URL, right? It's uh, O. That's the instance of Databricks. Has notebook, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we keep the has and then type secrets, secrets, and then create scope. And let's create a scope, a new scope. Scope. The managed principal would be creator, and then we need the DNS name of the Azure Key Vault and the resource ID. How can you find that? Let's go back to our Key Vault. Under properties, you will find the Vault URI. Copy that, paste it here, and then your resource ID. Copy that as well and paste it here and click on create. There is no UI to access this page, uh, so you have to type it. You know, it's like it's a secret, a secret location in Databricks. So you have to type secrets slash create scope. Let's open our notebook again. Click on that, and here let's add some code in order to access our data that we store in the storage account through Key Vault. We are going to get the account key through the key vault from Databricks, right? How can we do that? Using dbutils.secrets.get and we have to define the scope here and that was our scope, remember? And the key. So how can you find the key? The key is in your secrets and it's actually the, the name of the secret, my account key in this case. So let me paste that and then provide the storage account 
you have to set the account key here so you can do that by using spark.conf.set and set the account key and this is access key the access key is from here so access key is when we get the secret from the key vault and we paste it here we set it in spark we can run this code and see our data so let's run it and here you can see the data that we have in our storage account and this is how you access the, your key vault in databricks let's go back to the key vault and let's uh, go into access policies and now when we created a secret scope then by default uh, automatically databricks identity get uh, get and list secret permissions right when we created the secret scope this is what happened and this is how we have access to the key vault from databricks moving on we have data factory so how can we access the key vault from data factory let's go into manage and where it says linked services blade so click on the blade here and let's create a new link service search for Azure Key Vault click on continue and here select your subscription and the Azure Key Vault name as you can see Data Factory has a managed identity which is that let's test uh, the connection to the secret the secret is let's go back into our Key Vault get the name of the secret and let's see if there is connection no there isn't and this is the error you are going to get so what do we have to do in order to provide access to the key vault uh, for, uh, data factory needs to have access to the key vault so copy the manage identity here go back to your key vault under access policies click on create and click on get and list for secret permissions or key permissions or certificate permissions whatever you have we have secrets here only so click on next S select your manage identity which is the data factory identity here click on next next and create and this will create a policy allowing data factory to access your key vault right so you can see the policy here let's go back into the data factory and test the connection now and here connection is successful so click on create you can publish as well but uh, let's create a new link uh, a new link service for azure data lake storage account click on continue and then instead of using the azure subscription click on enter manually paste your uh, your account name here your storage account name the url and click on azure key vault and here it's going from the drop down click on your key vault and the secret name that you want to access my account key in this instance and the secret version the latest version so you can test connection and you can click on create and this is how actually you access key vault from data factory you have to provide access to data factory to manage the manager identity of data factory into your azure key vault access policies and then you create a link service a link service to point to the key vault and when you still when you get you want to get the secrets for store, the storage account you use key vault and you select the secret you want as we just witnessed right this is very simple we didn't have to do much with a few clicks of a button you can get your secrets from your the key vault another common case to try to access the key vault is from logic app so i have already created the logic app here the first thing we need to do is actually to enable the system managed identity of logic app so click on the identity blade turn the status on click on save 
and this will enable the system assigned month identity of logic app copy the principal id and go back to your key vault into access policies create a new access policy for get and list then click on next paste the principal id of logic app click on the logic app then next create and this will allow logic app to have access to the key vault back to our logic app now let's create let's go to the logic app designer create a, a, an http request in order to see the key vault secret click on new step select on http http request here a method that would be get that we need have the uri we can get the uri back to the key vault into secrets select your secret select the version and then here where it says secret identifier copy that paste it to the logic app and we have also uh, we need to add the api version when you try to get secret so as you can see here in the documentation it says question mark api version 7.4 right now and paste that click a new parameter add a new parameter click on authentication with we are going to authenticate with the managed identity when it comes to audience paste this url here to in order for logic app to go to the active directory and get the necessary token to access the key vault and click on save and let's run this and see what we get back right run trigger and here it is so here we got the value of the secret as we can see this is the output of the request and this is the account key to our storage account and this is how you actually access the key vault this is it for today guys this is how you can access keys secrets and certificates in the key vault from other azure services again the basic logic is to enable the system managed identity of an azure service like data factory logic apps azure functions etc etc and create new access policies to grant access to these managed identities in the key vault pretty straightforward i think nothing to worry about if you like the video, leave a comment, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.